Aziwa Jubola Ametinabu, the national leader of the All Progressives Congress APC, has stated that the herdsmen attacks on farmers had persisted because the problem was not decisively dealt with by past administrations, the nation reports. The APC stalwart made his comments at the 15th Annual Daily Trust Dialogue on Thursday, January 18, where he was represented by the former Commissioner of Finance for Lagos State, Wayla Dunn. We gathers that Tinubu, while speaking on the theme, Nigeria and the challenges of 2019, stated that despite the fact that the herdsmen farmers crisis had not been addressed previously, the Muhammadu Buhari administration was moving to arrest the lethal situation. He noted that non-nomadic cattle rearing was the way forward for herdsmen, stressing that large-scale nomadic practice had become obsolete. In his words, thus, herders have no right to cling to this way of life by killing others. Government must stop their violence but also offer them a viable new way of life by moving them toward more modern, non-nomadic cattle rearing. We should have been agitating in this manner 5, 10, 15 years ago. Lives would have been saved. For reasons I cannot completely fathom, we have come late to the point of strong, collective outrage at this bloodletting. Yet, all in all, late is better than never in this regard. This spirit of compassion and care must be enshrined in our political culture because it is integral to national greatness and democratic progress. True patriotism requires that you love more than the concept of Nigeria. You must love the people who comprise this nation, whether they worship in a church, mosque, and shrine or not at all. Meanwhile, we previously reported that the former governor of Jigawa State and presidential hopeful of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Siulamito, appealed to Aziwaju Bolatinabu to defect to the opposition party ahead of 2019. Lamito, who spoke at the yearly Daily Trust newspaper's dialogue, said the APC no longer deserved Tinabu's usefulness and importance. The former governor warned that Nigeria's democracy would be tested in 2019 mainly if President Muhammadu Buhari would be willing to accept defeat when he loses the election.